Welcome to another episode of BeerAmerica.tv, coming to you from the Moon River Brewing Company in Savannah, Georgia, and brewmaster John Pinkerton. Thanks for hanging in there through all these episodes. I, uh, I think you bring a lot to the table. I, I wouldn't it. call it hanging in. I, I, I think that's a win-win deal here. Okay, well good, all right. Well, I got an interesting beer for you today, and I chose it for totally superficial reasons, because I like the label. Now, and, and I, I gotta say that play, probably plays a big part, and I don't know how you feel about it, that when you're shopping in the beer aisle and you see all these really cool labels, that you might pick one just by the label. Yes, no, and marketing has a lot to do with it, you think? Don't judge a book by its cover. Right, true, but tell me that a lot of people aren't like me. They go, dude, that looks cool, I gotta try this. No, I mean, I, I'm, I'm with you. I'm, I'm right there with you. When I see a cool label, I mean, I think it's just human nature. I mean, we're, from the moment we're born, we're looking for those little uh, bits that uh, turn us on, you know? Well, to turn, turn me on in the beer aisle was the Coney Island Lager, uh, brewed by the Schmaltz uh, Brewing Company out of New York, who also brews Hebrew, the chosen beer, which maybe we'll get to at some point. But, uh, you know, the, the marketing to this seemed really, as I read the label, I kind of got more uh, drawn into it. Let me read, because I'm not going to be able to remember everything by uh, in my eyesight stinks. Uh, it said, arouse your liquid curiosities, amaze your oral sensibilities, indulge your inner beer freak. So there you go. So right on. they're almost like drawing you in to try this. So I, I bought it. I don't know if you've had this before. Have you had this before? Uh, I have not. Ooh. And so I... But I will it. say, I'm right there with you with the label. It's awesome. And I mean, there's a good head on it already. There's nice foam there. It foamed up nice. It's got a nice color to it. I'm not even sure I'd call it my inner beer freak. <laughs> I think I'm just a beer freak. Yeah. Has it aroused your oral sensibilities? That's what I want. I, I, I'm, I'm prepared to be aroused. All right. I'm going to try this. And we'll get Greg in here in a minute to try it because I think he wants to. He's looking like he wants to try it. There are a ton of ingredients in this, by the way. If you read the label, I mean, there, they, there's a lot going on, but it doesn't taste like it. I got to be honest with you, right off the bat, it was real easy going down. Very, very easy going down. I, I'd probably call that a mark of quality, really. I mean, you don't necessarily want to taste like you've got a bajillion ingredients. Right. In there, no, right? I, I totally agree. One of the one of the things that we talk about in uh, in uh, beer tasting is integration. Like, I mean, to me, a well integrated beer. It's something that has some, some ups and downs, but kind of all comes together really well. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't necessarily want to taste every ingredient. I want there to be a base. I want there to be high points, mm -hmm. but I want it to, to gel. Well, can you, can you read it? Because my eyesight stinks, and especially in low light. Uh, you um, know what? There's no way I can read it. But you know what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to include it on the website, all the ingredients that are in this thing, and you'll see Eight it. Eight malts. Oh, here they are. Hops. Right here, graphically. There you go. It's in there. Check Pilsner. Oh, check Pilsner yeast. Discover the thrill of old world brewing conjoined with beguiling new world flavor. There you go. probably should have rehearsed that. Well, I know, but that's why I couldn't. I had to write it down. I had to write down the other stuff. So I won't reveal my It's age. actually not bad. It's a very good beer, and, um, and Greg... Come on in here for a second. I got to get our camera guy, Greg. Greg, come in here and try this. And uh, let's oh, bring oh, oh, bring back the beer. Oh, you're going to use your own glass. Fine. Yeah, we'll we won't bring the beaker glass. back. All right. Greg's back every week helping me out here, and it's I greatly appreciate. What do you think? It's sedaciously campy. Surprising. Nice. Well done. Well done. Maybe you should come sit here. <laughs> you don't need me. So who is this guy? Yeah, who is this guy? So I think this would go with pretty much any food as well, don't you think? I mean, most foods. I mean, there's a, I taste a good hot character in it. Uh, yeah, this is definitely kind of a middle of the road as far as food pairing goes. Um, you can pretty much hit a lot of the, the different food categories. So I'd recommend this beer. There's a series of these beers. There was like Sword Swallower and a couple others there that I, I didn't pick. But I, 
for some reason I was fascinated by this one um, because of the ingredients that were listed on it. And I'm actually glad I chose it. It's a, it's a good beer. I, I mean, I, I'd buy it again, and, you know, you should try it. I, I think you can get this pretty much anywhere. If I can get this in Savannah, you know, I couldn't tell on their website whether or not I could get it in California, but, you know, they are shipping it down here at least, so I would, I would check it out. It's in Savannah, Georgia. Savannah. It's probably everywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. I didn't. I'm kind of new here. So. Well, anyway. I'll tell you what. I mean, it's very well balanced. There's a nice little hot note there, moderate bitterness. Uh, there's a, a nice maltiness. I mean, uh, the fact that there's eight malts in there, I'm kind of not surprised. I mean, what is a malt, by the way? I mean, a malt? Yeah, I mean, explain what the malts are. I mean, what, 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 what are well, malting is a process that is, uh, the grain, the various cereal grains right. can be taken through. And it essentially, it's a process that, that readies grain for brewing. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you take a seed out of the field and try to brew with it, it's... Uh, most of the components within that grain are very bound up. And the malting process essentially takes a seed, a cereal seed, and sort of tricks it into thinking it's going to grow into a plant. Mm -hmm. And so in nature, what, what that does, it starts to simplify all these nutrients and energy stores that it has in order to get just enough energy to push a structure out of the soil so it has le a leaf to you know take advantage of photosynthesis. And... Uh, we don't, the maltster doesn't let it get that far. It basically just lets it start to sort of break itself down, and before it actually has a chance to push out, uh, it, you arrest the development by uh, drying the malt. And, and in drying it, you're basically creating a very stable product that can last for years, and it's ready for the brewer. Now then beyond that, you can take malt and do all kinds of stuff to it um, to create color and aroma characteristics. So, I mean, for instance, chocolate malt is a a malt that's been stewed, mm -hmm. uh, allowed for some of the even some of the process that we do in the brew house to occur within the malt, and then they roast it off to a high temperature that creates these kind of sugary, uh, high roasty components that you might easily describe as cocoa or coffee-like. Or yeah. but so the, and there's a whole range. I mean, from very pale to the blackest uh, espresso bean of malt, we might we might uh, refer to as. Um, black patent malt, mm. uh, so it really runs a gamut, and it really doesn't take much of that really uh, highly concentrated uh, color malt, like black patent or chocolate, to make a beer black. I mean, even Guinness Stout is probably 80% pale malt, mm -hmm. so. Well, so that's why I have them here, folks, because. Blah, blah, beer, <laughs> beer, beer. It's good information that I hope that you're picking up here, but I, I would recommend this beer. I like this beer. I'd drink it again. Coney Island Lager from the Schmaltz Brewing Company in New York. So, cheers. Delish. Another episode of BeerAmerica.tv. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Greg. <laughs>